What's up everyone, Daniel here and today we're going to be talking about the best uncharted settings for playing multiplayer in 2021. I did make some videos about uncharted multiplayer in past but today we're going to be especially talking about uncharted multiplayer settings and the best settings that you can use for playing multiplayer. So let's open the game and start with the first option game. In this part you will find uncharted TV which is on by default. What it does there is a small video section that you can see some videos from uncharted that they are too old they will never change they will never finish there are just three videos as i remember and once you see them you don't need to use them anymore you can leave it on if you like to but if you turn it off your game menu will be faster moving to the next one camera controls the most important part when you want to play uncharted multiplayer for this one let's jump into the game if you press options and go to options section, you will see camera controls here. This is the default setting that you see when you open the game or you are playing for the first time or if you didn't change them. Now I'm gonna show you how to find the best settings in this section for yourself. You don't need to copy these numbers from me or from anyone else and play with them. You just need to find the best number for yourself. Alright, the first one is sensitivity. When you hold your aim button and then move your camera, this is sensitivity. If you make it higher, it will be faster or if you lower it, it will be slower. But it depends on which kind of player you are. If you are a close range player, it's better to keep it on 5 or 4. Let me show you how does it work. For example, here you can see if I choose fall and I want to play for long range, if someone is there, this sensitivity is too fast. I can't control it easy. So I recommend you to go to options, camera controls and change sensitivity to something between 2 to 4. I go with 3 because 3 is good for long range. But if you are a close range player or you want to play with shotgun, 5 is the best number. Moving to the next one, acceleration speed. This one is 10 by default and let me explain how it exactly works. It's about your camera when you are aiming and you are aiming on someone. So this game has aim assist. When you are aiming on a player, it has a little bit of aim assist so it can stuck on the player. If you lower this value, it will stuck more. So what I mean by that, it means if you are aiming on someone and you want to change your aim to another person, you need to push the controller, the right stick more so you can move to the next one but if you make it higher your aim assist will be lower i recommend you to keep it on five for me five is good if you are a very long range player you can try two or one but there are some difference between this one and ramp power scale ramp power scale is about your controller and your analog stick when you are aiming let me show you how it exactly works all right so this is your aim and when you are using ramp power on 10 for example if you move this a little bit it's not gonna affect your camera will not move but if you change it to one if you move it a little bit your camera will move let me show you how it works in the video so for the test i'm gonna make it 10 at first and you can see on the right side of the screen on controller when i'm moving it a little bit it's not gonna affect or it's too slow you need to push it so hard until it changes the camera and it moves the camera but if we go to settings again and change it to the number for example zero you can see even for a little bit of movement it will effect on your aim so which number is the best five by the default or zero or ten in this game it's a little bit high i i mean for me at least the five is too much i usually go with two or three but if you have a stick drift issue like when you are not touching the camera it's moving automatically leave it on five but if you don't have issues i recommend you to go for two and three so the last one which is camera sensitivity camera sensitivity means when you are not aiming and you are moving your camera five is too low for me because sometimes someone is behind me and i want to turn around so fast i recommend go for higher values if you can but if you can't you can use 5 by default for me let me show you which one is better i'm going to change it for example to 10 to see how faster it can be when you are moving your camera without aiming you can see here how fast it is and if i go to options again and change it to zero for example you can see how slow it is when you want to move your camera oh my god all right let's go to the option for the next section the next one is camera assist when you turn camera assist on when you are moving your character to some direction your camera will automatically move behind him so if you are coming closer or you are going to right side or you are going to left side your camera will automatically move around the character i don't like it i don't recommend to turn it on if you want to be a pro player don't use it try to move the camera by yourself next part is about controls if you go to controls there are some options for example the first one you can change the l3 r3 and x i'm not going to change them but the second part is really important remember shoulder swap 
when it's off by default if you aim and press x button you can change the shoulder however if you release your aim your shoulder will be back to the left which is default so if i change the shoulder it will be back to the left again but if you want to remember shoulders up you need to turn it on so next time when you are changing your shoulder to left or right it will stay like that it depends on which kind of player you are but i did explain you how it works i use it on off i, I actually don't use it i don't need to use it moving to the next important option repeated button presses this is on tap by default and it only works for square button which you are punching so if you want to punch someone you need to press the square button a few times it will punch the player but if you hold the square button nothing will happen it only punches one time i recommend you to change it to hold and then if you hold the square button you can punch them like this you don't need to press it and it will make you a faster player next one is about aim mode it is hold by default but if you want you can change it to target so how does it work by default as long as you are holding your aim button it will aim and when you release it it will release the aim but if you change it to toggle you only need to press once to toggle the aim and if you press it again it will release the aim i usually use it on hold on any game doesn't matter if it's uncharted or call of duty or any other game let's go to the next option skin this is one of the most important options in uncharted because some of players think I'm using rapid fire or something but it's all about the scheme it's not about rapid fire so if you use default scheme your aim will be L2 and your fire will be R2 how does it work if you change it to legacy you will see your aim is L1 and your fire is R1 it is much faster to shoot with R1 you can try it once and you will see how fast it is and it's much better when you are playing with some weapons like metaler or fall this is much better option to use for your game let's go to the next part which is display options there is one important option there and that's motion blur in density if you want to get headache you can leave it on 10 if you want to get headache again you can leave it on 0 let me show you how does it work so when the motion blur is 10 by default if you move your camera if you run fast if you move around and if you jump or do something which is gonna be the cause of the speeding game everywhere will be blurry you can see when i move my camera fast it will get blurry but if you change it even to 0 it will be so sharp now you can see you can get headache because it's too sharp it's not normal so what i recommend you to use is to use something between two to four i use two or four sometimes it depends on how you feel about the game you can try and see which number is better for you let's go to the next option audio the most important part i usually use music on zero because of copyright issues on games when i'm playing streaming or uploading some videos on youtube so if you want to upload your videos in social media or on youtube YouTube, or if you are a streamer i recommend you to use music on zero because this game music has copyright next part is chat because there are some very very good players in uncharted multiplayer that they only lose because of their teammates and they are always angry i recommend you to use chat on 10 however you can disable the game chat audio from here so you will never hear them next one is about output sometimes it doesn't recognize your output for example it's showing television however i'm connected with home theater so you can change your output here and there is a tip if you want to hear footsteps if you want to hear footsteps in this game i recommend you to use dynamic range on midnight because if you go for maximum you will not hear footsteps well and how does it happen dynamic range is the difference between the loudest sound and the most quiet sound so for example footsteps are a little bit quiet and weapon shots are a little bit loud if you make it maximum you will never hear footsteps really good so if you want to hear footsteps if you make it midnight midnight is to try to make the less different between the loudest audio and the most quiet audio so it means footsteps will be louder and you can hear them really easy all i can say is just use midnight if you want to hear the quiet sounds however if you have a very good speakers or home theater or very good very nice headset i recommend you to leave it on default because in headset medium will be good and if you like to know more tips about uncharted multiplayer you can check this video from here because this video is about 16 pro tips to play uncharted multiplayer i hope that you will like it and i will see you in next tutorial